here to do two things, to chew bubble gum and talk fountain pens. And I'm all out of bubble gum. I actually, I actually don't chew bubble gum. <laughs> I know that was so cheesy, but you know, that's like the first thing that it just popped into my head to say that. So I did it and I was like, why not? I'm just gonna say it. I've got these pens to show you today. I've got a pen from Visconti that some of you guys might be interested to check out. This is my first time to ever see this pen in person and I'm pretty excited about it uh, because there's just a couple of new things about it that are very different from Visconti's previous pen lineup. I'm gonna show you today the Visconti Voyager. Yeah, the Visconti Voyager. It comes in this Visconti outer sleeve, as you may have already figured that out. Let's slide it off. And we have this beautiful, I just, I know I say this every time I bring out the Visconti box, but it's to me, it's just really a beautiful design with the Vs in the different colors of the silver and the gold, and then the just the very uh, sans serif typeface of Visconti in the center. To me, it just, it's very elegant and classy, and I really appreciate that. I don't think the packaging has to be so over the top, you know, to get, to get someone's attention. It's all about the nib. Well, that's my opinion, so. To take off the top, and open this up and we have a chihuahua size pillow in fact this would probably work out very well for my chihuahuas okay whoever wants the visconti pillow you have to fight for it all right and go it's very soft cushy i think it would give their necks their little necks good support so once that pillow is lifted away from the box, you've got the Voyager pen. And this color is, let me check the box, because it has a funny name. It's actually like a blue purple color or a blurple color. And it's actually called Voyager 2020 Orion Nebula. And this pen has a medium nib. So there it is, and it's on its own pillow, its own pen pillow. And it has a tab right here, which indicates that we should pull this up. So I'm gonna do that. And I mean, I guess what would be a brochure, probably a brochure there. Well, there's not, it's just a concave box that's lined with this velvet stuff. So uh, but that's okay, I don't need the catalog because honestly, the catalog kind of like is, um, it's a temptress. <laughs> it tempts me. I go through those catalogs and I'm like, ooh, I want that, I want that, I want that, I want that. Yeah, it's just not a good thing. So, okay, moving right along, take the pen off of this pillow. And it is covered in this very, very loud plastic sleeve. That's such an annoying noise. It really is. I'm gonna take the very uh, loud <laughs> sleeve off of the pen so we don't have to listen to this any longer. And here's the pen. Here is the Voyager 2020. I think it's really nice. I like the way it looks, especially the resin. It has that striated appearance. I guess it would be similar to the spaghetti resin um, but it's what it's described as is the striated mother of pearl resin. And the reason for that is because it has some pearlescent areas of the material. So it's blue, but it's purple. It's a very interesting color, but I think it's very beautiful, this color. And let's see here. So we've got the, on the finial, we've got the the V for Visconti, which also comes out and you can personalize it. They've got little um, discs that are interchangeable. I think it's it's got like a special name to it, like a personalized system or it's something very, it's a lot more fancier than that. But anyway, as the Pont de Vecchio bridge clip, spring-loaded. 
At the very end of the barrel, there is a silver, which it looks like a blind cap, but it actually isn't. Um, it, it doesn't do anything actually, but I like what they did at the end here because it matches the resin. And I think that's a really nice touch. The cap is magnetic. And when you take off the cap, you've got the section matches the rest of the pen, which is awesome. It's got nice chrome silver trim, which I think looks really nice. I think this would look cool in gold too. But the silver, in my opinion, with the, the cool color, the cool metallic color, the silver with the cool blue violet color looks really nice together. My, that's my personal opinion though. It is a cartridge converter. We'll talk about the nib in a second, it's okay. Just relax. We're gonna get to that nib. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Because there's a couple of things I'd like to say about the nib. But first I wanna show you that it is a cartridge converter and this converter is different. The converter, it's kind of like a step up, I guess. So it says Voyager on it. So it is specific to the pen, I imagine. Visconti. And it has an ink window, which I'm not really sure why they put like a little ink window there instead of just making the whole, the whole thing clear. I mean, I guess as long as you can see your ink level, it's not that big of a deal. But I do find it very interesting. I mean, you could see the little plunger go down and all that stuff. I know, it's so just super exciting. At the very end of the converter, it has like the Vs right here. The, some are right side up, some are upside down, uh, which adds to the design, the overall design of the converter. So, I mean, you know, there was, there was a lot of thought placed into the converter. So that's cool. I can appreciate that. What's really cool about this nib is that Visconti just started this in about late 2020, is their nibs, and this is a medium nib, by the way, this nib in particular is made in-house. So Visconti is bringing the nibs in to their factory, making their own nibs. And I kind of dig the, you know, the design of it. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. It's different than, there are other nibs designs, which I think, you know, the, the other nib designs are nice too, but this one is, you know, it's more of a modern take on the nib in my opinion, but it looks, it looks good, but it's got to perform well for one to truly appreciate it. Back there's the feed. This resin, it really is eye-catching. The cap is magnetic, has a magnetic closure. And I didn't talk about the bottom of the cap. The bottom of the cap has, let's see, it says Voyager, the name of the pen. And then all around the band, it has the same Vs, right side up and upside down, that match the top of that converter. So it's completely cohesive, and I think that's pretty cool. So it is magnetic, it does post. So this is what the pen looks like when it's posted. It feels pretty balanced. The cap is, you know, puts a little weight to the end of it, but I don't find it to be uncomfortable. It is a very lovely pen. I, how many times have I said it's lovely? Cause it is, I just, I love that color. But you know, this isn't the only color that the Voyager comes in. The Voyager also comes in, it's kind of a, kind of a tortoise color, but it has a special name. This is Alpha Centauri. And then it comes in black, also known as Black Star. So this one, uh, you look closer at the Alpha Centauri and it also has that lovely striated resin with that mother of pearl look to it. It's really lovely in person. And it's semi-transparent. If you look closely, or I don't know if y'all could see it, but right in this area, you can kind of see the converter in there, which I think is kind of neat. Um, and even on the cap, you can kind of, like right in this area, you can kind of see inside of there. Black Star, 
it is not as transparent, but it does have that striated appearance right here and that mother of pearl look. The section is a bit see-through or transparent and it has that same, the new nib on it, which I think it looks pretty nice. So which one is your favorite color? Let me show you that I'll take the cap off of this one as well. Do you have a favorite color you like out of the three? Let's see, here they are all together. Out of the three, I am pretty fond of this blurple one. I really like the way that looks. So this one is called Orion Nebula, which is a blue violet color. It's very nice. So I am going to ink only one of these pens up and I'll be inking this one up, the Orion Nebula, to see how it writes. Let's see how that in-house nib performs. So much for joining me for this look at the Visconti 2020 Voyager and it's three colors we've got once again Orion Nebula, Black Star, and Alpha Centauri. I do see them still selling over at your favorite pen retailers. Mine in particular of course is Pen Shelley. That's the one I always go check. And the, the MSRP on these pens are $695, and I've seen it as low as $556. So if you can swing the $556 plus, find a very helpful coupon code, perhaps you can get this a little bit lower, and that way you can throw an ink into the order as well. But I do say, I like the way that in-house nib writes. The medium nib writes very nice, and... I mean, I think it's a nice pen. It's solid and it, it feels real nice writing. Nice, smooth nib. I do appreciate that. Well, thank you so much to Coles of London for sending these pens over to me so I can try them out and review them. I'll be sending them back to you shortly. And I will also take some images and stick them on my Instagram in case anybody is interested. Well, that's all I've got. 
And that's how the ink flows.